Hello everyone, today we are talking about drones. Obviously some people decide to give life to some drones. Like the Bolt M, basically this is just an FPV drone with some incredible capabilities like tracking and autonomous strike. I just want it, but it costs fifty thousand dollars per unit. And the defense industry sold a lot of them the last years. As stupid as I am, I decide to build one. So I cannot make it with my actual stupid FPV drone, equipped only with the spy controller, but nothing is impossible. By connecting a Raspberry Pi 5 to this spy controller and 100 hours of developing, I will be able to make it. And first, it needs to be cheap. Because I am poor and because I think a lowest price can attract more people. And so get me more feedback and make more improvement. The second point is the compatibility. It needs to be plug and play with every flight controller with the firmware RG Pilot. This is a large range of flight controller. I don't want it to be hard to set up or configuration or need any art skill. I want a child of 3 years old can make it. But the main challenge is I don't want to modify your initial drone. This project is an upgrade, not a replacement. So it can be used in addition of your RF signal and it's compatible with fiber optics too. The third point is the functionality. I want to be able to swarm control any FPV equipped with this brain. This functionality allows one operator to control multiple drones at the same time. While now, one operator can control only one drone at a time, or maybe two. This is basic functionality, opening the voice to many other applications that I will present you in the future. If you like what you just heard, you will be amazed by what is coming in this video. So here is the first look of your brain. It will be pre-wired, pre-programmed, it can be plugged directly to your battery 2S to 6S and directly to your flight controller using this cable. Here is what it looks like on my prototype drone. As you can see it's not very large, pretty light, 125 grams know how to plug it. So here is how you install it the first time you get it. It's very easy. There is three steps for making this. A kid can literally do it. So first you need to plug this connector to your telemetry port. No configuration needed on your Pixel. The brain do everything. Second, you plug the brain to your battery using this connector. I will provide an XT60 connector with two outputs, one for your drone and one for the brain. I'm using a 3 cell battery for this test, so I just plugged it. As you can see, the system is connected. After this small test, for the first configuration, we need to plug a RG45 connected to your router in order to get your drone on your local network only for the first time. When it's done, let's go for the configuration on the computer. So you need to be connected to the same network than your brain. And you can just open your invite of command, your command line. And you can type IP config. There is a lot of line, but this line is interesting for us. This is the IPv4 address. So you just need the four, the three occurrences. And you can go on Angry IP Scanner. This is a good scanner for scan local network. So you just, uh, so, we're, so we're just going to scan 
this IP to this IP. So 1 to 250. So 1 to 250. And here is my Raspberry Pi. So when I get, so once I get the IP address, I can just copy and paste it in my web browser. And here is the configuration page. I can see my drone is connected to the flight controller and I have some other information like GPS information. Right now I'm in the building, so I have no GPS, but I can set command to like takeoff, landing, arm, disarm, or force arm. I can make some gimbal control test too. This is only for test. This is not for the real control. I will show it to you in some minutes, but right now I can update too. But my version is even up to date, so no need. Here is the most important part. This is the VPN connection. Uh, a VPN basically lets you connect to your device all around the world. So I'm going to set up it with you right now. So we are using Tailscale for VPN because this is a very good provider with a very low latency all around the world. So we just use it. The signing is very easy, two steps, so no need to worry. So I just link my Raspberry Pi to my Tailscale account, it's free. You can just do the same and create an account. So once it's done, you need to have installed Tailscale on the control computer and add it to your, and add it to your VPN. And here is the IP of my drone. I can access through the web browser. So this is a good point right now. It means my computer is connected to the Raspberry Pi successfully. So here I can configure the Wi-Fi in order to auto connect at boot. Here's the GPS denied part. I will talk it in a, an other video, but you have a preview, a spoiler. You can delete, you can add some files for it. You can modify the configuration for this functionality. Here is another functionality. I will talk it later too. Here's some configuration. We can let it like that. And WebRTC, because we are using WebRTC for transmit video through 3G, 4G, 5G, if needed. So I'm controlled. So for this functionality, I develop a special software. The software allows me to connect multiple drones using the IP address provided by the VPN. The port is always 5000. And I can just click connect. As you can see, I'm connected to the drone. I can see his location. So right now I'm in the building, so this is the default location. I can select the drone and see the weapon. I can add a weapon or even delete a weapon if I want. Under the map, I can give some command to the drone like takeoff, land, arm. Under this command, I can see the video feed of multiple drone if I want. Right now I have no camera connected, but I will add the gimbal control in this interface. I can control a selected drone using joystick if needed. This functionality is very accurate to using fiber optic drones. If you like it and enjoy it, please leave a comment. I read every comment and reply to every question. This connection with me and you is very important for me. So leave a like if you like it and subscribe if you discover and guess and like what we are building. In the next video, we will build our own fiber optic drones so like that we can just fuck jamming and send drones everywhere.
You already miss me? It was Zach from Avery Lab. <laughs>